Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we continue north on US 11, beginning at mile 45 as we enter the borough of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Carlisle is the county seat of Cumberland County and has a population of 20,118 as of the 2020 census. In 1773, Benjamin Rush, who was one of the signers of the Declaration of Independence, established the Carlisle Grammar School, later chartering it as Dickinson College. This was the first college founded in the newly established United States. Among its notable alumni is James Buchanan, the 15th President of the United States, who graduated in 1809. The Dickinson School of Law, established in 1834 and originally affiliated with Dickinson College, holds the distinction of being the fifth oldest law school in the United States and the oldest in Pennsylvania. In 1997, it merged into Pennsylvania State University, becoming the Penn State Dickinson School of Law. Carlisle served as the original eastern endpoint of the Pennsylvania Turnpike when it opened in October of 1940. It has since been extended to Philadelphia in the east and beyond Pittsburgh to the Ohio State Line in the west. We'll see the Pennsylvania Turnpike at the end of this video, but while we'll see a few Pennsylvania state routes along the way, we won't encounter any other U.S. highways, which is surprising for a large town like Carlisle. Here, US 11 bears right and becomes West High Street, temporarily running alongside an above grade railroad track. At the next intersection, Orange Street, we'll be joined by State Route 641, which comes in from the left under the tracks. We'll be passing through the campus of Dickinson College ahead.
Here yet another concurrency begins, this time with State Route 74 coming in from the left at College Street. At West Street, we get into the downtown area in the Carlisle Historic District. The district comprises 1,011 buildings, along with one site and one object that have historical significance, located in both the Central Business District and the surrounding residential areas. The majority of these buildings were constructed during the mid to late 19th century, although a handful date back to the 18th century. In the residential areas, you'll find noteworthy examples of architectural styles such as late Victorian and federal. Recognizing its historical importance, the district was officially listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. We make a left turn onto Hanover Street, losing our two concurrencies and gaining a new one with State Route 34. We leave the borough limits of Carlisle and enter North Middleton Township. Nearby on the right is Carlisle Barracks, which serves as the training ground for high-ranking military personnel and civilians who are being groomed for leadership roles in strategy and management. It holds a significant historical status as one of the oldest U.S. Army installations and stands out as the premier institution for military education within the United States Army. Additionally, Carlisle Barracks is home to the United States Army Heritage and Education Center, offering a museum and archives accessible to the public. Note that US 11's name has changed to Harrisburg Pike.
enter Middlesex Township with a population of 7,021 spread out over an area of 25.9 square miles. Here we pass under the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which is concurrent with the Interstate 76. And I should clarify that this is one of two I-76 highways, the other of which runs almost entirely in Colorado and is completely unrelated to the one here, which runs through Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. We conclude our video here at mile 51. Thanks for watching. We've enabled channel memberships, so for as little as $1 a month, you too can help support our channel and get early access to our regular videos as well as the occasional members only video. Click the link in the description to join. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media, and join us for our next 504 road trip.